Okay, Charles Ablar here. I gotta stop saying that because uh, after 7,000 videos, I think people start to know who I am. Anyway, we're in Fredericton, we're in front of City Hall. We'd like to do a video out front, but it's too windy. Uh, wind and politicians go hand in hand, but it's not hot air here, it's cold. So, anyway, tomorrow, Tuesday, the city is going to announce inside, oh, the Undertaker, the bell, exactly. <laughs> it could be Doomsday, who knows, you just hear the bell. They're going to announce, they're going to have a news conference at 2 o'clock. I don't know, Bernard Richard is going to be there. The mayor is going to be there to announce the details of the review of the battle between the pinny ass blogger Charles LeBlanc and the racist members of the Ferdinand Police Force. Now, I'm not going to put this video online tonight. I'm going to put this video online tomorrow after we hear the verdict. Number one. They have never, never even talked to moi. Never did. There's a review about all the issues, but they never talked to me at all. So it's going to be one of the most cited reviews you have ever seen in your life. What Bernard Richard is going to say, that if I, I know Bernard for 15, 20 years, that's why I was, ee! when I found out that he was going to be in charge because he knows me very well. He's going to say, okay, did the Fredericton Police Force did the right thing to use? You done your racket? To use a part of the Criminal Code of Canada, Section 301, to defame a police officer. That's when Wuzzo touched my balls. Now, if he didn't touch my balls, I would have never made a story like that. It happened. I still stand by that story. I have the video. Never, okay. never mind that. He's going to say the French Police Force didn't do the right thing. Should have never raided Mr. LeBlanc's face. Is Mr. LeBlanc guilty of calling the members of the French Police Force? Racist and fascist. No, no. Mr. LeBlanc should have never called them those names, and the police should have never raided my place. Like somebody told me, uh, stop playing. You guys better stop behaving like kids. Me and the police. But anyway, then he's going to say, well, two wrongs don't make a right. Then this is the tricky part. He's gonna say, maybe it's time that we need a jur journalism court code for bloggers. Now, we're not here to review, to discuss if a blogger is a journalist or for if a blogger is not. I mean, if I wanna be a journalist, I'll be an Irving employee. But I refuse to dedicate my life and soul to the Irving, the evil Irving Empire. So therefore, I'm a blogger. The pay sucks, but I do what I do. Now, the bottom line here is going to the the report is going to be one-sided because they never talked to me. The reason they never talked to me is I told them I am not intelligent enough to talk about my charter of rights. They spent thousands and thousands of dollars to get it ready for my raid, and then they spent thousands and thousands of dollars to uh, go through my computer and have all the legal charge to step forward for our justice building, whatever, that's another story. But they couldn't spend a couple of thousand dollars more to grant me the right to a lawyer. During that investigation, they must have known one line said, oh, he's on social assistance. But, so they expect me to appear in front of a review without a lawyer? I can't afford a lawyer. So they should have spent a couple more extra thousand dollars, two or three grand, 
and give me the right to a lawyer that is intelligent enough to talk about my charter rights, which I'm not. The bottom line, and another one, we'll close it. My cameraman, her poor little hands are getting froze. Uh, the city spent, for, they paid Bernard Richard $40,000 for a one-side review. Is that right? Give me a break. <laughs>